I'm going to keep this short, but I saw a brand new study that just reminded me of something. When I was, I don't know, like 60 pounds into my 100 pound weight loss, I hit a pretty significant plateau. And people used to always tell me, well, a lot more is happening than just the scale. Don't worry about the scale. And I wanted to kind of like just kick them because it didn't matter. Like the scale was important to me and I understand the scale is important. But now knowing what I know about insulin resistance and also visceral fat, I know that a lot more is going on. So this new study that was published in sort of a prelim report in MedRx is fascinating. Hey, after this video, check out my awesome sponsor, Thrive Market, online membership-based grocery store, but you can sort by keto, stuff your pantry with all the keto goodness, things that I recommend, things that I would endorse, and things that I would approve to be in your pantry. So there's a link down below that'll get you 25% off of an online membership with Thrive Market grocery store. So that way, just save a couple bucks, but you also get a free gift using that link below. So big thank you to Thrive Market for the continued support, and I hope that you check them out. So link is down below. Okay, so this new study demonstrated that a completely unrestricted caloric intake keto diet, meaning eat as many calories as you want on keto, right? Completely unrestricted, ended up being just as good at reversing type two diabetes and improving insulin resistance as a 1200 calorie ultra low calorie diet that wasn't keto. So no calories counted, but with keto was just as effective as plummeting your calories when it came down to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes reversal. I didn't even know that we could technically say type 2 diabetes is reversed, and I'm careful to even say it, but I'm just looking at what the study said. Okay, the point here is that we have been told for years that we need to drastically reduce calories and lose a significant amount of weight. And believe me, trust me, I want you to lose weight, but I don't want you to get completely just frustrated and upset like I was if you hit a stall, if you are keeping on what you are supposed to be doing, you are clearly having improvements that are hitting, right? If you improve your insulin resistance, weight loss will follow and that is a promise, okay? Because as your body gets better at utilizing those fuel substrates, it will improve. So maybe this is a motivational plug for people. Maybe this is what you need to not throw in the towel right now. Maybe this is what you needed to hear because Honestly, if I watched YouTube when I was going through my weight loss journey, this would have helped me. But there's another interesting study, and this one was published in Clinical Radiology. This one found that, a, in this case, a lower calorie, a lower calorie keto diet compared to an equal calorie non-keto diet was almost three times better at improving visceral fat levels. Visceral fat is like the number one thing you should be concerned with when it comes down to what kind of fat you lose. That is the belly fat that is underneath our skin, underneath our organs, and gives us a pot belly. It's the bad stuff, the visceral fat. The job of visceral fat is to be full of inflammatory cytokines and full of different signals that respond to pathogens in our gut. The point is, is visceral fat leaks out inflammation. It flat out does. It is associated with so many chronic diseases. It is not good stuff. And there is plenty of evidence showing it's what we should be focusing on decreasing and getting rid of that unsightly, but also somewhat invisible fat that is underneath our just, you know, giving us that pot belly. If we have high levels of circulating inflammation all the time, it is impairing our fat loss. Okay. So even though you might be at this stall, this study demonstrates that even if your weight isn't necessarily changing, you are having sort of this reallocation and you're hopefully at least getting rid of that visceral fat a little bit more, thereby allowing you in the future to lose weight. So don't throw in the towel. The scale does matter, but it doesn't matter on some days. Okay. I hit plateaus for weeks, for months, and you have to stay the course. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I hope this just gave you what you needed to hear. I'll see you tomorrow.